We're here with Jesse Beth McCannell of the BSU volleyball team. You know, you're approaching your last game as a you know, member of the BSU volleyball team and just what are some of the emotions that are going through you right now? I have a lot of mixed emotions. I, I'm excited to give my body a rest from volleyball and everything, but it's been a part of my life for so long that, you know, it, it'll, it'll be really sad, I think. But hopefully it's a good couple last games. It's been a tough season, but what are some of the things you've seen this team progress in as, you know, as the season has gone, gone on so far? I think we've become a lot closer as a team. We've got to know each other really well on and off the court, so I think that helps as we play and in practices as well. And um, I think everybody has improved and got to know like the speed of the game and how it's different from high school. How has your role changed this year, going from last year, your first year as a setter with a lot of experienced players to this year, your second year as a setter, but you're set into a lot more inexperienced players this year? Uh, it's definitely changed. Um, I have to bring my experience to the team and just help them out um, with different aspects of the game. And uh, hopefully I do that by um, example and also verbally. But yeah, that's, that's how it's changed. You have several connections to Bemidji State University with your dad having played hockey here and you've had some other siblings go here and a sister that played volleyball here. Just how important was it to be able to come to Bemidji State here and compete in athletics? Um, it was very important. I think it made everything more exciting because I do have the connections here and um, people, I guess, kind of know my family more. And it was just, it, it's nice to have my family come back too and support me here. And um, yeah, that's why it's important. Just was there any doubt? that you were gonna come here to Bemidji State? Did you look at anywhere else when you were trying to choose a college four years ago? I did look at a few other places, um, but I think this one stuck out to me because it's kind of like my second home because yep. my mom grew up here, and so I came here every summer, and I, I just kind of felt at home here when I came to visit and did the tour, and I liked the campus and, and the opportunity to play volleyball. Did you grow up going to sporting events here or was your first exposure to athletics here pretty much just you know playing volleyball? I did come to watch my sister play a lot so um, having my sister play here was my first experiences um, with watching BSU volleyball and sports in general. Just how did her experience playing volleyball here impact your decision to want to play volleyball here? Um, it made it a big impact um, it's, it's different because we both had different experiences here at the same time, but I knew I wanted to play college volleyball, and so following her kind of with everything else I did, <laughs> it just <laughs> seemed to fit. So, Just how has the last two years been playing under Coach Chadwick? He obviously wasn't the coach that recruited you, but you know, you've had two, almost two full years under him now, and just... What has he been able to teach you that you hadn't, you know, known about volleyball before? Um, he's uh, done a lot of good things in my volleyball career. Like, it, I've had a very good experience under him, and he's he's taught me a lot. Um, as a setter, it's it's different because he was a middle when he played, but he still knows a lot about the game and. Um, about our opponents, like scouting them, the tendencies of the, the different players. And just um, right now we're focusing on just relaxing and having fun. And he's brought that back just to reminding all of us that it's a game we love to play and we should just relax, have fun, and just do our best at all times. Who are some of your teammates and coaches that have really made an impact on you in terms of just as friends or just helping you along the way learn the setter position or, you know, other aspects of the game? I think my family has been probably the most impactful in that. My dad was my club coach and um, he also coached my sister, so I learned a lot from him. And also three of my siblings have played volleyball. My sister was a setter, so giving her advice was really helpful and um, my other family members. and. Um, I also had other coaches, 
such as a, a tennis coach who, <laughs> who really helped me and just um, worked on me developing my like athletic abilities and um, also just having everybody, not only sport coaches, but like, for example, my piano teacher would really help me in just like life lessons and um, even those all my experiences. With four matches left of your volleyball career, just what are some of your goals for the rest of the season? Um, my goal is just to enjoy it. You know, these are my last few games and and the last I'll ever have competitive, competitively in college. So I just want to enjoy it and soak it all in and just play the best I can. What is life after volleyball going to be like? What what are you pursuing, you know, in terms of a major and what do you see yourself doing after you graduate? Well, I'm majoring in exercise science and minoring in psychology. So, I'm in the process right now of applying to grad schools for occupational therapy. So, hopefully I get into those and keep going on my education. Just what's going to be going through your head that last last game of the last match on that Saturday two weeks from now? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, just a lot of, I don't know if I'll realize that it's the last last game. You know, I just want to go all out and hopefully end on a good note and work hard and just try not to think about it too much. <laughs>